How do you handle your GitHub notifications? Do you have them come through as emails like I used to? Or do you use the GitHub Notification Center or do you use a third party tool? In this video, I wanna show you how I do it. And for someone who gets a lot of GitHub notifications, I think I have improved the process over the years and I wanna share that with you. So let's go back to the beginning. I did used to have them come in via email and let's just say I would wake up two to three or maybe 4,000 new emails every day and uh, I, I couldn't keep up. I was actually missing other important emails getting lost in notifications. So I tried to stay on top of it and I tried to remove any notifications in my emails that were closed or merged or kind of have been dealt with. But still, I couldn't keep on top of it. Everything was an absolute mess. So it came to a point where I had to stop the notifications coming in. And I did that. And I tried to catch up on those email, email notifications. And I don't think I did a very good job, but I got somewhere. And that was the important thing. And I moved to what you see behind me, which is the GitHub Notification Center. And I wish I moved to this so much sooner. It's not perfect, but it is really, really good. There are some little improvements I'd like to see, and I will share those at the end, but it is still really, really impressive. So I came to this and you can guess what I saw. I saw not only the kind of two to 4,000 notifications I'd get per day, but I had the last, I don't know, two or three years of not using the GitHub Notification Center of notifications. So I had tens of thousands of pages and I wanted to go through them, but really it wasn't possible. Even by clearing the, for example, you can see the purple ones have been merged and then the gray ones have been closed, not planned. And I thought I could try and do that, but it still wasn't possible. So I kind of did something really, really bad that I don't recommend doing, and it was kind of an accident. So I wanted to select all and clear the ones on the page I was on, but apparently it selects all, like literally all. So going back about one or two years, maybe 18 months, something like that, I clicked on select all and I hit marked as red and it got rid of all my notifications. I was very stressed. I was kind of upset because I did want to get involved in those conversations, but it was done. I thought, right, this is a clean slate. Let me start there. And so since then I've been on top of things ish. You can see I've got 95 notifications to go through. So I'm a little bit behind again. I'm going to try and find some time this week to do that. But the tips that I want to share with you are when you get to these notifications, you can see like the uh, ones that are kind of a bit grayed out. I've read those already and I could have gone to those from an other way on GitHub. I went to the pull request tab and looked at the pull request. So this one is has been closed. And what I do is I've read it, but I still want to check that I didn't have a quick look on my phone and it's marked it as read and it's done, but it's not done. I just had a quick peek just to make sure nothing was urgent. So what I do is I look at this bit on the site, which is really, really helpful. And on the right, it has me. And that means I was the last person to comment on it. So I know that is actually done and taken care of and I don't need to do anything about it. So I am happy without going into it again to tick it and mark it as done and move it across. Same with this one. Again, you can see that I had the last comment on it. So I'm again happy to tick that and mark it as done. If we go to another one, if you look at this one, oh, this one was me as well. Again, it's been merged, it's been read and the last comment was from me. So again, happy to tick that. Let's look at another one. For example, this one has been read but the last comment wasn't by me. So I have looked at this, but I haven't marked it as done because I did want to have a look at it later on. So you can mark these as unread, but I haven't, I've just left it here and I need to go through it. So that's something I don't want to tick and mark as done just yet. So just to recap, if an issue is closed, and it's been uh, accepted, then it will have a purple icon. If it is closed as not planned, it will have a gray icon. And if a pull request is merged, it will have the purple icon. And if it's closed and not accepted, it'll have the red icon. So therefore you can quickly see straight away which ones you wanna tick off your list. And again, you can have a look at who was the last person to comment on it. You can see this one has a gray one. So this looks a bit different. It has been closed and um, work has not gonna be uh, done on this issue. 
you. And the last comment wasn't by me. So I should go and have a look and see what the conversation is going on there. And if you do that, I reckon you could reduce your notifications each day because there are other maintainers on the projects. Um, you could reduce them probably by 50% quite quickly, but give it a try. Let me know what tips and tricks you do and also how your notifications, how you keep up with them in the comments below. Oh, I was going to say some of the improvements that I would like to see. I would love to see labels shown on this page really, because sometimes I do want to see, is it ready for dev or is it uh, awaiting triage? Just things that can help me uh, maybe filter this list because we can filter by um, assigned, participating, mentioned. I do go have a look at the mentioned ones also, which is why when people just mention me to assign it to them, it, it makes my notifications a lot more difficult and painful. And you can filter by repositories as well, which I think is super useful too. So if you want to focus on a specific hour or a day on a particular project, you can filter by that project and go through those notifications. And when you have marked them done, they do appear here and you can save some. I don't use save that much, but maybe I should. But yeah, labels is the one thing I think I'd like to see. Otherwise, this is brilliant. I highly recommend it. Again, let me know in the comments how you manage your notifications and I'll chat to you there.